जय हिंदियन स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम टू माई न्यू सीरीज सीरीज फोर ऑफ टेंस लास्ट क्लास वी हैड लर्न इन डिटेल अबाउट सिंपल प्रेजेंट प्रेजेंट कंटिन्यूस एंड ऑल्सो वॉट इज टेंस नाउ दिस इज द फोर्थ पार्ट एंड इन दिस पार्ट वी विल बी लर्निंग अबाउट प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट टेंस एंड ऑल्सो प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट कंटिन्यूस टेंस फर्स्ट स्टार्ट प्रेजेंट परफेक्ट इट शोज the completeness of any action when our action is completed that time we use this tense now this form is used to express an action that has just been completed first point for example he has just gone out this action has just been completed second point to describe past events that have an impact on the present for example i have cut my finger this is one of the past event but still the impact is on the present still i have a pain on my finger so to, to describe past event that have an impact on the present third point to express past action when no definite time is given for example i have read gulliver's travels so this is the past action but i am not defining here i am not telling here at what time i have read so to express past action when no definite time is given let's see the chart first person second person third person now you can see the chart we will be understanding by the detailed structure has have helping verb and we always use third form of the verb okay see the structure first of all affirmative we write subject then helping verb has or have then third form of the verb and object or complement see the example he has gone to school he is your subject has is your helping verb then third form of the verb gone then to school the complement another example they have gone to school i have used here have with they you know the difference third person i have given you in detail in my last video what is third person so wherever third person and singular number your subject is there third person or singular number use has has okay whenever you get your subject third person and singular number you are using has with the rest of the subject you are using have let's see negative sentence negative sentence the structure is in this way that you use just after helping verb not and rest of the things are same see the example he has not gone to school after has or have you have added here not and in the same way you are using here third form of the verb now see the interrogative sentence in interrogative sentence we first of all use our helping verb and after that subject then third form of the verb then object the example has he gone to school or have they gone to school so this is the structure and example of interrogative sentence first you will be using your helping verb then subject then third form of the verb now see negative interrogative negative interrogative the structure will be same but you will be using after your subject not it has a contracted form also the short form also hasn't or haven't okay then subject then third form of the verb then object or complement example has he not gone to school another example have they not gone to school see the contracted form the short form hasn't he gone to school or haven't they gone to school so in the short form what is the difference that you have used not before your subject and see the first example has he not gone to school so in this you have written your not after the subject 
but in your contracted form you have written not before the subject okay so this was your present perfect tense now see the next tense that is present perfect continuous tense see where do we use this tense the tense is used to refer to something that began in the past but is still happening or is still in progress at the time of speaking means we have started the action sometime in the past but whenever we are talking about the action the action is still in progress okay if i say i have been reading gulliver's travels for the last one week it means that i have started reading in the past but still i am reading the book see where can we use see first of all the chart this is the chart okay have been or has been and with the first form of verb you use ing and you also add since and for for the expression of the time i will be telling you where to use since where to use for see the structure affirmative sentence you use in this way subject has been or have been first form of the verb ing means with the first form of the verb ing then for the expression of time you use since and for and after using since or for you will be writing the time okay see the example you can better understand deep has been studying since morning deep is your subject then has been is your helping verb then is studying is study is your first form of the verb in which you have added ing then since morning morning is the time see another example you have been studying for one hour so this is the affirmative sentence i will be telling you in detail the use of since and for negative same way but what is the difference that you are just you are using not just after your helping verb has not been okay has is your helping verb been is your also your helping verb here but has not been in this way you are writing means in the mid of the helping verb you are using your not see the example you can write in this way deep has not been studying since morning see another example you have not been studying for one hour so you are using here has not been or have not been that first form of the verb with ing means present participle then since and for with the time interrogative sentence see the structure of interrogative sentence has have anyone then subject then been then first form of the verb and ing since or for and time see the example has the been studying since morning or have you been studying for one hour so here also you are using first your helping verb then subject then been and after that your verb main verb no and ing form and after that since or for it is somewhat typical student but when you will be doing the practice you can understand it well see the negative interrogative sentence in this negative interrogative your structure is in this way has have subject not been first form of the verb ing since for or time this is your contracted or short form hasn't or haven't then subject been first form of the verb ing since for time example is have you not been studying since morning or haven't you been studying for one hour so here have you not been studying just after your helping verb have you write down the subject you then not and after that be it may seem to you some somewhat peculiar but in this way only you have to write in this way only you have to use your present perfect continuous tense 
and the contracted form haven't you been studying for one hour so this was the use of present perfect continuous tense in this way you can use this was the structure now see how to use and where to use since or for since or for are used whenever we have to express the time we do the action so it suggests the time at which our action started since is used for the expression of the time the time at which our action started and for also suggests the duration of our action okay but what is the difference see first of all the example 5 o'clock 5 am okay so this 5 o'clock is telling you the fixed time it is called point of time but for 2 hours so whenever 2 hours is written there it means that you don't know which 2 hours it is giving you the duration of time so when you don't know the fixed time then you will be using for okay and when you know the exact time you will be using since in the same way see the year 1999 or any year is given there so if you know which year use since but if you don't know which year many years is written there two year three year four year you don't know which two year which four year so you are using for in the same way any day is given there monday tuesday wednesday so any day you know which day so you will be using since but if you don't know so you will be using for if many weeks or two week three week four week so you don't know no so this is called duration of time morning evening anything is given there any time is given there so if you know the perfect time the point of time so you are using since okay otherwise if it is a long time or a duration of time you are using for so since is used to suggest the point of time and for is used to suggest the period of time so this is the difference between since and for so students we have learned today present perfect and present perfect continuous tense thank you students take a good care of yourself now we will be meeting again in our next class that will be about our past tense all the four forms i will be telling you goodbye take care